to them, but when they get the money and they buy all the dumb stuff that they don't really need, they come to school, they see mom and dads kissing their kids goodbye, telling them, I'll see you in the afternoon, because you know they don't have that much money to spend, they have to go, go, go to the jobs. They say goodbye, sweetie, I'll see you later. They get so jealous that they don't have a mom and dad next to them every single day that they want to tease that kid so they can go home and tell their mom and dad and make their whole family miserable, like he's feeling miserable. That's right, okay? And that's something to say. Oh, yeah, but she has, he has anything, sorry. And usually I heard, and I believe this, when a kid bothers you and they laugh, you should just, just laugh with them. Right, and that, that does, that, that's, that's the best thing to do, but you know, everybody has a different temperament. I did not have that temperament. It wasn't, it's not easy for you to laugh with someone who's laughing with you. It has to be the way you are. Like, if I fall down, I'm embarrassed. I w and I will tend to cry, because that's just my temperament. Other people, it's easier for them to laugh at themselves. Not everyone. Right? So sometimes, but what I used to do is ignore them. And the second thing I did, I first I ignored them, but the second thing I did was, whatever I was able to be good at, I made sure I was the best at it. So me, I had my in in intelligence. I was the smartest kid in my class, or I was a very smart child in my class. So I made sure I did my homework all the time. I did what I had to do all the time so that I could be successful, so that now that I'm older, those kids could look at me and be like, oh, that's Nicolette? The Nicolette that we? Now I have all that I want, all that I need, and some. And if I don't get something, it's because I don't want to. Like I was thinking the other day, you know what? I should buy the, I, I should buy the iPhone watch, right? But I'm like, I have the money to buy it, but I choose not to because I'm like, I don't need to. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I said to myself, I'm gonna wait a year before I, pr but that's my choice. Right? When you're, because I can. And that's what I want you guys to get to. To get to the point where you're so successful, you choose not to get what you want. Not because someone's not giving it to you. Right now, your parents might not be able to afford something. Shh. Right? But that's your parents. You should get to a point where you are better than your parents. Where you can afford more things than your parents are, could afford. Right? Because that's what your parents want for you. They don't want you to be in the same place they're in. They want you to get better than, smarter than them, wiser than them, richer than them, right? Um, some people bully you by your size. They do bully you by your size, right? Some people, if they're big, they're like, you're skinny, right? Or they're normal, you're skinny. It doesn't matter what they bully you for. Just know if someone is able to bully you, it's because they are not happy inside. Because me, how many times have I heard anyone, like, aren't I always smiling? Or I always have, I'm always wanting to make you happy. Because I, inside, am very happy. Even though I have circumstances in my life that are not very pleasing, I don't want you to make you sad. Why, what's that gonna do for me? Right? Go ahead. Um, when someone bully you, you don't have to, um, you don't have to um, listen to them because they, they're, every time when, when they're not wearing something that they don't, when their mom tells you to wear something that they don't like, they see you wearing something that's nicer than theirs, they're gonna be bullying like, like you have a problem and they don't have a problem, but it's not true. So all you have to do is don't listen to them and believe and think of God instead of them because they're the one who's making you feeling bad and they're acting like you're not the smartest, but they're saying you're the dumbest, and when some and when someone call you the dumbest, they're the one who's gonna be the dumbest, and you're gonna be the smartest. Right. So just know, and then we're gonna end this conversation with the bullying. That whoever's bullying you, the problem is not you. So when you're being bullied, the problem is not you. It's the person who's doing the bullying. They're the problem. But they want to remove the problem from them and put it on you. They want you to suffer the same way they're suffering. So if you're able to ignore them, if you're not able to pray about it, go into whatever they do, go into the bathroom, go into another room, you know, go somewhere and say, God, you heard that. It hurts me. Venge me. Be my revenge. Show them. If not now, later on, help me to prove what they're doing is wrong. Let them see that they're wrong. And believe me, either they'll get caught and they'll get in trouble, sent home, suspended, whatever, because the same thing they're doing to you, they're doing it to someone else. And eventually they will be caught. 
And you will find they're the worst behaved person. They're the class clown. They're the one the teacher calls home for. The point is though that you never put yourself in their position. First of all, you never retaliate, right? By either fighting, cursing, or carrying on. You never put yourself in their shoes to actually believe what they're saying because you are a child of God, you are beautiful, you are smart, you are powerful, even if you don't know it. And people, the devil can see that. Do you know that the devil knows what you're going to be when you grow up? He, he, he isn't, he's not God, but he sees what your inclinations are. He sees where your mind is going. He sees what you want to be. And he says, you know what? Before she makes it, I'm going to stop her. How am I going to stop her? I'm going to put things in her way. I'm going to make her feel miserable. I'm going to make her feel low. I'm going to make her feel bad. Because when you feel low, what do you do? You yeah. cry. And then, you know what? There are little kids who want to kill themselves. Exactly. Right? For what? No, there's no need for that. Right? I was watching a YouTube video, this little girl, I don't know what she was doing. She was doing some bad thing and her dad, you know, told her that she wasn't supposed to do it. And so he did a bad thing too. He shaved her hair and he posted yeah. on Facebook. And then you know what she did? She jumped off the bridge. Really? Whoa. Whoa. Right? That's horrible. So the point is the yeah. devil wants to get you to stop being the, the person you are. The wonderful person that you are, right? So don't let any one's words or actions stop you from being the perfect, wonderful child that you are. And that is friend, whether they say they're your friend or not. That is teacher, because there are some teachers that are not nice and they will say some mean things. Whether that's a family member, whoever that family member is, right? If they're not saying something to lift you up and they're saying things to put you down, don't listen. Because no one should be putting you down. I don't care if you're not smart now, God can bless you, you can be smart. You're not dumb. You're not stupid. You're not ugly. You're not retarded. You're not, you know, you're nothing that is negative. Everything you are is good and positive. You are growing. So whatever is not good in you now can become better. I am 32 and I'm becoming better. Everything that I am, I have improved. I am growing. 60 year old people grow, they become better. Let alone you who are nine, who are seven, who are five, <laughs> right? I'm not pointing to you exactly. Okay, so never believe negative things people say about you. I don't care who it is, why they say it. And even if you did something wrong, God forgives. He will forgive you and he will make you do better. Now it's up to you to learn from your mistakes and to do better. Right? We all make mistakes. We all do things that are wrong. You are children. You will make mistakes. How many times have you made mistakes in the camp? A lot of times. But that's okay. You are going to learn. But, but, it's not every mistake that you should make willingly. Like, ooh, here's a mistake. Let me make it. Like, ooh, here's another mistake. Let me make it. That's not what I'm saying. If you can stop making mistakes, do it. Right? Do, not try. do what you can and mostly pray when things go wrong pray okay so god can help you all right so we're going to end the conversation now i think we'll and play our game and play our game yeah oh.